Today we are taking you on a very special behind the scenes episode. We're here out in Shellwater Bay and we're going to see the 1-3 Field Artillery Regiment from the US Army firing the HIMARS in Australia. We're here at the VIP demo day but we're going to go chat with some of the soldiers and then get them to explain what they do and see this missile firing. So let's go check it out. And what are you doing? Tell me about your job. Uh, well, we are here to demonstrate our firepower, specifically with the HIMARS or High Mobility Artillery Rocket System. Serious yes. piece of capability. Tell me a little bit about it. So our launchers have the ability to shoot and scoot. Uh, it's, you're not dealing with a very huge piece, right? It's not that big. And these things are highly mobile. So you can put these inside of an airplane, uh, specifically C5, C17, or C130. And these things will travel wherever they need to be and go shoot wherever they need to go shoot. Hey Ben, so we're out here at Shellwater Bay. Uh, what's your job here with the US? Uh, so I'm the liaison officer with the 17th Field Artillery Brigade. So I'm pretty much learning their tactics, techniques and procedures and then making sure everything's safe when it's fired. That's awesome. So you're a pretty unique opportunity to get amongst the US and be able to watch them fire this new capability. So the way that they use their rockets, they're held at a higher level than we traditionally hold our guns. Guys have been very, very hospitable. Uh, their professionalism is without question and just the rounds going down range is excellent. So I am a launcher chief, um, I have a gunner and driver that I am responsible for and I pretty much just make sure that the gunner knows his position, the driver does her job and then uh, shoot as many rockets as we usually can. Uh, this is going to be the launcher module itself. Um, you can load in munitions to it, uh, you can load in any type of rocket and then one missile. Uh, each rocket pod has six total and then just one missile. So today we're gonna to be shooting the practice round, which ranges roughly eight to 15 kilometers. Um, so once we get on the firing point, we'll get our 10 digit grid, get our mission. Launcher module will lift up and then twist to the side and then go to the specific uh, azimuth and elevation that it needs to go in order for us to shoot the munitions. There's only one munition that it shoots to the side and that's the practice rounds. Sure. Every other munition shoots over the cab itself. So it'll lift up and then shoot over the cab. Do you know how many of these fit on a C-130 or C-17? One. One on a C uh, C-130, uh, two on a C-17. Have you exposed them to any Australian things like Vegemite or anything like that? Yeah, we had a few blokes try Vegemite. One of them threw up, but um, other than that, it wasn't too bad. That's awesome. There's a few different acronyms and we speak a little bit different, but ultimately working together we use the system, or we want to use the system in a very similar way. Uh, so today, 17 FAB will have three launchers go out. They'll be shooting two rockets each, and that'll be going over the feature, as you see to my rear. Um, other than that, we've got Australian observers on the ground watching for the fall of shot. It's going to be good. It's going to be amazing because some, some will be in sync, some will be individual, and it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. We're going to make a lot of noise here. The three vehicles will set up in their hide, hiding positions, and then upon receiving uh, the fire mission, they will get, go ahead and move out to the firing point, and they will quickly lay on target. They will do some fire mission processing, ensure some safety data, and then uh, once they get the thumbs up, they will go ahead and shoot that round downrange. So is your position up there in the in the top of the vehicle, like that guy up there? Yes, my position is right there in the middle, up on the hatch. Um, and, and what responsibility do you have up there? So um, there's, a, there's a lot of responsibilities, but mainly um, we, I'm ensuring proper operations inside of the vehicle, making sure that my driver is doing what he needs to do, my gunner is doing what he needs to do. I'm also ensuring the safety of the fire mission, and I'm also ensuring the safety of my crew as well. That's awesome, man. Well, thank you for taking us behind the scenes of what you do. Really appreciate it. Can't wait to see the show. All right, awesome. Thank Thanks, you. man. Bye.
Ladies and gentlemen, here we are. We've seen the High Mars fire out here in the range at Shellwater Bay. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. We're going to put you out now with a bit of a, a show right now. Let's go. That's it, ladies and gents. Thanks for watching this episode of the Army Vlog. My name's Dave Hankin. If you like this content, make sure you hit subscribe. Comment down below if you want to see something else behind the scenes for Army. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye for now.